All right. Ghost Whisperer, Season 1, Episode 10. Here we go. All right, so Melinda uh, was helping someone get fitted for their wedding dress, and an apparition uh, showed themselves. Showed, showed itself. Yes. Stop. <laughs> All right, so same apparition in a wedding dress has flipped off somebody's coffee and they're laughing about it stop it i can see what who are you talking to melinda you're freaking me out <laughs> oh my god you're freaking me out cool is this a joke i, I wouldn't have mentioned it if she weren't so persistent <laughs> Oh my god, you're so funny. Yeah, okay. But I can't. It's a gift I have, this thing I can do. Okay, where are the cameras? You and Mark are trying to punk me. She's wearing a wedding dress. Yeah, so. Um, uh, let's see the story uh, develop. What are you doing here? Trying to help. <laughs> All right, Melinda, let's see how you can help. Serena is haunting us. She is going to try to destroy our wedding. She's not as dumb as I thought. Yeah, so bitter, vengeful, yes. Tell him I appreciate the iron getting married in the same church as we did. You know where he got that book? Me. I gave it to him because I wanted to use a poem for our wedding. All right, so obviously this was his previous fiance in a wedding dress, and verbatim, he's going to get married in the same church and use the same book. Yeah, so obviously she's maybe jealous. Oh, but at the time that was too corny. <laughs> Tell him he better not dare use one of those poems. Yeah, so it's a book of poems, and I think he wants to use one, or he wants one to be used at the wedding. Yeah. Tell him! Oh my God. Hey, sir. hey wait, where are you going? Alright, so those type of phenomena, breaking glass and throwing things off the of shelves. Uh, I have personally not had anything broken or thrown across the room. That's because I do not let earthbound spirits siphon energy off of me or anything around me. For the most part in my house, I've used my protections, a lot of red material, and that does not give them any energy. Yes. Red sits the lowest on the color spectrum, therefore it uh, gives off the lowest amount of vibrational frequency. Yes. Let's see, uh, she, this spirit has been exposed to a lot of energy it can siphon off of, so it can do more things. I've never experienced breaking things or throwing things across the room, as I said earlier, but I will mention this. Uh, a weakened spirit can do some things, touch you, flick your ear, things like that. Because you cannot, most people can't see them, can't really feel how many are around them. If you have 10 or 20 around you, it might feel like one strong apparition, but it's actually 20 small pieces of energy doing small little things or combined doing something. Yeah. I used to deal with groups at times. Yeah. And they are touching you in multiple places at any given time. Yeah. Does he really think he can forget me that easily? Okay, so um, maybe partial jealousy is involved. Do you really think he's gonna forgive me? Forget me. Hey, Lisa's gotta be back by Tuesday. Hey, do you see Serena? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, she's over here. Right. <laughs> okay, so flashback scene, how it all started. Are you drinking alcohol? Should you be drinking? Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. What, what's going on, Serena? It's not like you. You wouldn't take a chance like that. And the story unfolds. I miscarried a week ago. Are you, are you just telling me this now? All right. So uh, she had a miscarriage. And everyone in the room knew about it, but the groom. So obviously there's some bitterness there. Uh, um, uh, he can't really, oh, he can't really trust her because he feels betrayed. Oh, how can he keep that away from me? <laughs> All right. Mark, chill. It's wedding day. Hey, it's mine too, Josh. I, I knew you'd be upset and I didn't want to ruin everything. All right. So in my circle of friends, oh, damn dog, uh, you wouldn't be butting in like that. Hey man, hey man, watch your watch your mouth, damn it! No, 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 no. My friends, no. They'll quickly exit the room. All our plans. I'm gonna try again. I wasn't trying to trick you. I just didn't want this day to be depressing. Just... All right, so they are arguing in the car. I don't understand you. How, how, how you think it's okay to, to completely lie to me? What? Think of what she went through. She must have felt. At least you're still together. You have your whole lives to... Okay, right there. If that was me. If I was the, the groom and... A uh, third party was to stick their nose or uh, put a rebuttal in there. No, no. I didn't ask for your advice. <laughs> I woke up a day later in the hospital. My wife and my best friend were dead. Alright, so he is feeling... That is a huge guilt weighing on his shoulders. He was a driver, he got into an accident, and both his wife and best man passed. At, and he was a driver, yes. And I kept going over that last conversation that Josh had said about the miscarriage. She must have gone through. It was like he understood her better than I did. Okay, so Josh might, Josh might have been envious of you. And he liked her. I mean, he was looking out for her. And I was thinking about myself. All right. I think only now the spirit finally realizes, oh. Poof. This poem was suggested by a, a trusted a treasure guest. Oh, this dog is killing me. <sighs> now may I kiss my bride? <laughs> <laughs> How cute. You're Josh, aren't you? Yeah. <sighs> All right, so it was edited out, but Josh has been lingering around town, just moping and just hanging out. And Melinda has seen him a few times, but I took that out, yes. Right. 
So two spirits finally meet. I've been looking everywhere for you. Are you all right? I'm better now that you're here. <laughs> yeah. I think I am. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I found you. And here comes a crossover. Okay, I think that's it. All right. Uh, okay, so um, that is it for this episode. I'll wrap it up, put it online, and get it ready for you guys. All right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.